Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. We just finished a live Hot Topics and had I had this, we would have talked about this also. And I was gonna put this in a Hot Topics for you, everyone, but I'll do that after this. Um, but I have a message for Tamar Braxton. Tamar, do not let this man tell you that he don't want you again. This is about the second or third time. Let this be the last. I don't know how true it is, but he seems to be telling his truth, however you want to take it. But he's clear on some things. Don't let this happen again, because this is crazy. We're going to get into how this got started, and we're going to get into Jeremy. Let's go. Now, Tamar made this post, not this one, but a post like this, saying that JR was cheating on her with a 25-year-old girl. Now, when we get ready to hear what JR has to say, we're going to see how we're going to use this word cheating. Tamar has gone over to this girl's page. Her name is Jalen H. Tamar was so upset that she couldn't even spell correctly. So let's do it right. Played in my face for a 25-year-old, shaking my head, took my jewelry, took me to Turks, and all along had a whole tramp. I hate you at Jeremy Robinson, CEO. This is what Tamar posted, and this is what she has since taken down. Now, let's get into what JR has to say. And P.S., Carlos King is caught up in it as well. Let's go. You know, I initially was going to take the high road in this situation and not say anything. But the reality is I cannot keep getting attacked. My character can't keep getting attacked. I can't keep being thrown under the bus because someone can't control their anxiety. Someone can't control these delusional thoughts about things that aren't real. JR has said that his character is coming into question as he calls Tamar delusional. That's her character, right? He said this before. He's talking about her mental health and the fact that she's a little delusional. Let's keep going. But I chose to do what a real man does, and that is protect the person that I've been with. In this situation, I'll be very clear. I've been single for the last six months. We have been trying to identify what that looks like, closing one chapter and figuring out what it's like to be friends again. I've been very specific about my boundaries. I've been very specific about where we stand as friends. Go date anybody you want. I'm gonna date when I'm ready. I am emotionally unavailable to you and I'm physically unavailable to you. So before he let us know how unavailable he is to Tamar, he said in another part I didn't post was that he was trying to protect the person he was in the relationship with. And he wanted to be a man about it, so he didn't want to come to social media. But he has to come here now because his character is in question. Child, now we about to get into what he told Tamar he did not want or need from her. This is wild. Now, birthday comes up, plans are put in place. Of course, I want someone that I consider to be family to be involved in that because if anybody knows her, she is big on birthdays. I don't lead people on. I'm very direct. Listen, if, if anything that you're doing or that you want to do comes with an agenda, I don't want to be involved in it at all. I don't want you to be involved in my birthday plans. I don't want you to come to Turks and Caicos. This is not a reconciliation time. Whatever you decide you're doing is because we're friends and because I'm still being involved in my son's life. I still would love for you to have a relationship with my children, but not to the extent that you make up these stories that aren't real. So this is the second time that he said that she's delusional, right? So if what he's saying is true, he is clear about where he stands with Tamar. They are not together. He's been single for six months. He considers her to be his friend. When she was talking about took her to Turks, he's saying that he took her to Turks because they're friends. They know each other biblically, but at this time, this man is physically unavailable to her, right? So, 
I want to say maybe Tamar is the type of person that if you are around her, she may think something is still going on. You probably have to just cut her off. I, I don't know. That could be her disposition. I don't know. But let's get into the reason Tamar made this post in the first place. Allegedly, because we were not there. I needed time to reset. So I get a call yesterday. Hey, did you stay at Four Seasons? Yeah, I did. Uh, in fact, I extended. I gave them my card and everything's good. Why? What's up? Oh, well, I got a call about some chick who used my card at Four Seasons. I said, that's not possible. This is funny. Ha ha ha. What, what are you talking about? Well, I thought we can friends. We can talk about it. But this is laughable. I didn't stay with anybody at the Four Seasons. I'm not seeing anybody. Didn't wasn't on a date. None of that. If I was, you're my friend. What do I have to hide about that? Um, I'll just say cooler heads didn't prevail. And next thing you know, I'm on her story and I'm being accused of things which are just blatantly not true. Um, I have never led Tamar Braxton on. I never will, nor will I. There are people, hate the name drop, but hey, Carlos King, you've got me involved in this. You're part of the reason why we became friends. Um, but I've been very clear about my boundaries. I've been very clear about wanting to have a friendship. But not to the extent that, yo, friends don't throw each other on on their stories and call each other out on stuff. Like, look, if there was a mix up with the card because of booking.com, yo, that's a quick fix. It's already taken care of. I've already contacted Four Seasons and they've already issued a refund and they charge my card. It's that simple. Where did this random woman come in that you called a tramp? So, y'all, the situation with the card is this. He and Tamar have a card that have the same last three numbers. And it was connected some kind of way. Maybe a trip they had taken before. He had gone to New Orleans to go to a friend's funeral that he's known for 25 years. He checked into the Four Seasons, right? So Tamar got a notification some kind of way about the card and said a girl calls and she was with JR. JR in this video has let us know that he's very clear of where he stands with Tamar. So like he said... If I was with a girl, I could tell you that because you're my friend and we're not together. Child, Carlos King, now how did he get in it? In the middle of this, right? So he's going to mention the word defamation when it comes to the young lady that Tamar threw out there. Let's, let's just finish it up. Let's go. It's just a reach and I'm tired of having to stay quiet and not defend myself. Y'all, mental health is real and I understand how sometimes anxiety can get the best of us. But you just don't go on social media and start attacking somebody you say that you love, that you care for as a friend. And, and then you post pictures of you and my daughters together, but then you're throwing their dad under the bus. It's not cool, man. And uh, the unfortunate reality is I thought that I could be friends uh, and try to maintain some type of friendship. But I, I, that relationship is done. And I didn't want to come out and, like six months ago and be like, hey, I'm single again. So it's a wrap for Jr. and Tamar, at least on his side. Um, he did say that the young lady that's in question, he became friends with her on Instagram like three days ago. But later on in this video, he says that there could be a defamation situation because he doesn't know the lady. He hasn't DM'd the lady or anything like that. And Tamar just threw her in as a cherry on top to go with these hotel charges. So what y'all think about it? Tamar, don't let this man tell you he don't want you no more. Don't let it happen again, child, because this is the third time. It's a wrap. Let's talk about it, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.